idiot. I'm dumb. That's fine. Go ahead. Cause you have every right to have your own opinions about me. But what you're not going to do is you're not going to tell me that I ain't wrong because that shit's wrong. And you fucking know it in your heart. And you know what? You're participating in going real life. You are, whether or not you want to sit here and deny that you are literally going real life. And I'm sorry. I love my sister. You will never be able to take that away. Okay, that's still my family, that's still my blood, whether or not I don't agree with what my sister has done, whether or not what she's doing, I don't agree with it, but at the end of the day, that's still my sister, and you would defend someone if that was your family member, whether or not you don't agree with me, you would, and you know I'm going to call you out when you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. You're wrong. Okay, I don't want the camera to be on at all. Can you see me? Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. I think maybe you didn't hear what they said, but they're not saying that that's Gabby's address or her phone number. Then what are they saying it is? Uh, well, they called the number, and the number says that it's the law firm. It's the law firm? It's the law firm, is what the phone number says. You were the one that said it was Gabby's information. Gabby's, Gabby's name is right under there. So where do you think that was at? Uh, you tell me, Danny. Where did it come from, then? Who sent it? I don't know. Okay. You just answered your own question. Gabby sent that to them. Send who? Gabby sent that letter to that lady. I don't know that lady's name. What, just, what lady? Brownie, whoever that is. Brownie? Brownie. So, okay, yeah. So, Brownie, so, okay, so Gabby sent the C and, de and deceased to Brownie, correct? That's what it says. That's what it says but that's not what brownie said brownie said when she called that number it is a law firm i'm on the phone Go okay wait, wait 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 so i've been watching this whole thing the whole time so no what happened was yeah. is gabby used a fake law firm and made that and had it sent they said the address comes back to her neighbor that she was Correct. in the garage of and the phone number that they were calling went to no voicemail at first and then it, they turned off the phone and then put a law firm voicemail on it. So it's, the, the, they've, they've been looking for the law firm. It's a fake law firm. It's not a real it's, place. It's fa but what I'm saying is, is Brownie never said, hey guys, this is Gabby's information. The whole time that I've been watching. Okay, but the thing, okay, so let me ask you a question. Thing, that it's a law but, firm. But it's a, it's a made-up one, like it's not right. an actual and I know, I know letter that. from a law firm. I know firm. that it's fake, and I know. But that that's also a information. felony. Like, if you're going to impersonate a lawyer, that's, that's a felony for real. A big that's that's prison. <laughs> and I understand, Danny, that you want to defend your sister, but uh, honestly, as long as, as I've been watching you, she wouldn't defend you. Okay, but, but um, for this I, I understand, thing. but I'm different. Okay, I'm I, okay. I guess I'm just confused. No, I know I you're guess, different, um, and I really want to defend your sister. But what Gabby's doing is completely wrong. And if I was to give you any good advice, I would advise you to stay. Mm -hmm out of it just stay out of it don't even don't get involved, even, involved. Don't say i don't have an opinion on it don't talk to gabby about it don't talk to anybody about it just stay away from it yeah don't even act like you know anything about anything i'm just saying my phone's being blown up to all of this all of this and i'm so confused because i'm hearing it from one person then i'm hearing it from the other person i'm going like i'm just confused because the there when she called when brownie called a number, I don't know, the 630 number, whoever she spoke to gave an actual law firm, not the Francis and whatever. Brownie called the actual law firm, and the law firm said, no, we don't have anything of this here. We don't have any idea what you're talking about. So if that law firm and Brownie can provide evidence that proves that your sister impersonated a law firm and an attorney's office, that is a felony charge. Yeah, and they can't prove it also because the sister, the sister Okay, so, okay, so, you're, 
Okay, because like I heard, right? I heard that it was a legit fake. No. That's what oh. I heard. And now all of you guys are telling me that I'm wrong and that, that it's it's false? Not that you're wrong, but whoever told you is wrong. That is all of the numbers and the addresses and the phone numbers do not go to the law firm on that paper. So, and also the letter came from a FedEx. Guess who works at FedEx? So yeah, and no, they said that that address give me wrong comes from back to Victoria that. and Victoria is Gabby's neighbor. No law firm wait, wait. is going to send what? a cease and desist to through FedEx. Their cease and and desist in, 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 with their with the legal seal from their law firm. Somebody all letters come has to go knock on your door and serve you that paper. Yeah, it's not going to come from FedEx. They don't know that stuff. So and it's it, not going to have whoever is serving you their yeah. information. Is yeah, not so I understand you. like you want to believe your sister, Danny, but you should just stay out of it. So you're telling me that somebody told me incorrect information. Yes, which happens talking? all the time on the internet. Yeah, you can't believe everything that's on the internet. But those ladies have the proof. You see it with your own eyes, the address that's on the front of the FedEx. You've seen the phone number that's on the front of the FedEx. Whose phone number, who address is that? Don't say it, but you know. Yeah. And it's all, it's, it's all silliness. But I think if, if you want to get like most of the facts about what's going on, like if you want to go to Brownie's Live, you should do it, but don't argue with them. Yeah. Like just let them talk and let you know, let them, let them let you know why they think it's what it is. If that, that's the only reason I think you should go in there. If not, then don't. Don't, um, I, if it was me, I wouldn't engage with them. Just I can't, I, can't I don't want to engage. I just don't. No. I, I'm just saying, I'm confused. Because I'm having somebody tell me this and then tell me this and well, then this and this and, and that. And, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? You know, whenever you're caught up in stuff like this, it's hard to admit, yeah, you know what, Danny, I did do this and I did mess up and I'm probably going to be in a lot of trouble. That's hard to admit your faults. Um, yeah, but also this is the same person who keeps getting you in trouble as well. So I think you should stay away from it altogether. Yeah, I would just sit back and uh, wait and see what's going to happen because it's, yeah. If they can All right, I gotta, that... I gotta go back to work. I don't know how you get out of the box. Can you put me out of it? Oh, I don't know how to do that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I really don't know. Hold on, I wait, hold on. Oh, I let me figure it out. <laughs> how do I do this? I hope I did it. I don't know if I did it right. I don't... It's okay, I'll just come back. Just swipe up. Uh... <laughs> yeah, so I would just oh, uh, stay I... out of it. Because uh, at the end of the day, I mean, the facts are oh, there. My, my mom is calling me. My